The easternmost point in the Upper Peninsula and the second largest island in Michigan is Drummond Island. After being forced to abandon the fort on Mackinac Island, the British established a fort on Drummond in 1815 and occupied it until 1828 when the island was designated as part of the U.S. Today, hundreds of thousands of visitors come to the island for off-roading, kayaking, birdwatching, and rock hounding. Let's take a look at the unique geology and recreational opportunities on Drummond Island. And if you like this video, please take a second to subscribe to our channel. To get to Drummond Island, head to Detour Village to embark on the one-mile ferry ride across the St. Mary's River. The ferry offers hourly departures and can carry 36 cars. Over 100,000 round-trip vehicle tickets and nearly 200,000 round-trip passenger tickets are purchased each year. Presently, the ferry costs $20 round-trip per car or pickup, including passengers, or $2 round-trip per walk-on passenger. Fees vary for larger trucks, trailers, or motorhomes. On the northern shore of the island, you'll find shaley limestone outcrops from the late Ordovician Richmond Group. These so-called fossil ledges are low cliffs with step-like shelves that extend into the water. Be careful, there is nearly a 70-foot drop-off at the edge of the ledges. Moving south across the island, you'll find outcrops of the early Silurian Cataract Group, then the middle Silurian Burnt Bluff, Manistique, and Engadine Groups. All of these rocks were deposited during a time when a shallow sea covered the Midwest and Michigan was between 20 and 40 degrees south of the equator. The island is part of the Niagara Escarpment, a geologic feature that runs around the northern half of the Great Lakes Basin from New York through Ontario and Michigan into Wisconsin. Hard dolomite is underlain by softer shale and dolomites. The softer rocks are more easily eroded, creating a cliff or steep rock face from the harder rock left behind. This escarpment forms the cliff that the Niagara River runs over at Niagara Falls. On Drummond Island, the best place to view the escarpment is at Marblehead on the eastern shore of the island. Getting there is difficult even with a high-clearance four-wheel drive vehicle and may require hiking the last portion. Another unique feature of Drummond Island are the alvers at the Maxton Plain Preserves. An alver is a dry grassland environment with no or only a very thin layer of soil over a flat limestone bedrock. This type of community is only found in parts of Canada, the United States, and Sweden, and the elvers at Maxton Plains are the largest remaining high-quality elvers in North America. When the last glaciers retreated some 10,000 years ago, everything was scraped away, leaving bare expanses of bedrock and some thin soils. Plants mainly grow in the fractures in the bedrock where soil can collect. This habitat contains a mixture of arctic tundra and prairie plant species, including many rare and threatened plant species, and attracts up to 160 species of birds. If you're looking to add to your rock collection, pudding stone can be found throughout the island. Jasper conglomerate, commonly known as pudding stone, is made up of pebbles of red jasper, black chert, and translucent quartz that were embedded in sand which became well cemented and then slightly metamorphosed, turning the sand into quartzite. These rocks are approximately 2.3 billion years old from the Precambrian Lorraine Formation. This formation outcrops on the north shore of Lake Huron, so pieces are commonly found on the island, some in the form of glacial erratics as large as a car. In general, you are allowed to collect 25 pounds of rocks and fossils on state-owned land each year, but make sure to follow all posted regulations as rules may vary at specific locations. In addition to the geologic features, Drummond Island is popular for activities including off-roading, snowmobiling, and kayaking. The island is 68% state-owned and has 76 miles of designated ORV trails. The steps at Marblehead are a popular ORV destination. In the winter, you can enjoy 100 miles of groomed snowmobile trails. Kayakers can explore 150 miles of coastline with sheltered bays and 53 outlying islands. There are also 34 inland lakes to paddle on the island. With such a variety of things to do, a visit to Drummond Island is sure to be well worth it. What is your favorite reason to visit Drummond Island? And what other destinations would you like to see us cover? Let us know in the comments, and don't forget to rock that subscribe button!